just landed in Hobart. But we picked our car and we are going towards our accommodation which is in the Hobart CBD. right at the heart of CBD so there's like Maya and a lot of stuff right around here so this is the perfect location I'm happy we got it for four nights for three eighty two dollars the whole thing and there's an issue with parking so make sure that whatever place you book there's parking in it because everywhere in here is ticketed there's no free parking so this is going to be my accommodation for the next four days Ta -da! that's all that's my mess that's the little kitchenette and that is our dinner and drinks if we don't find anything else at all because apparently everything closes soon and it looks like it's going to close and that's the sad view we have <laughs> it's almost sunset so i thought let's take a stroll around the harbor I just can't barely any people places are closed it's a Sunday and I'm quite um, surprised to see there are barely any people here so we plan to stay in the CBD but it looks like it doesn't really matter where you stay because there's nothing going to be open after like five or six Just got my food served and it looks fabulous. It's rain check stack and that's the breakfast bowl and we ordered some extra uh, sourdough and that's my coffee. Can't start my day without coffee. So that's important. Um, update on breakfast. It wasn't that great and I felt it was overpriced so we might give this place a miss. We saw a few pictures on Instagram and that's why we went here but they had changed the menu so it's not the same. Someone says we were catfished. <laughs> We are going to Prony Island because Mount Wellington was a fail, it's closed. We'll try again tomorrow. But right now we are on our way to Prony Island. We are taking the ferry and it was $38 for return tickets for the cars and we go free. This is the first time I'm doing this. I am usually really scared, but this looks fun. Why did I have to break it up? Guess I was just a young girl living in a dream world. I thought that gonna go up there I don't know if you can see it but up the top to see the view this is the most famous lookout of Bruni Island if you search Bruni that's where it takes you 
we're gonna go do that have a look at how the place looks and i can show you obviously i will Shocked Oyster Farm, which is one of the only oyster farms in Roni Island, and it is supposed to be one of the best ones. They cultivate um, native Pacific Ocean, South Pacific Ocean oysters, and they are um, a specialty here. So here I am trying oyster for the first time. I mean, I have never ever tried this, so let's see how this turns out. I don't know how to forget you. It's like jelly. Achala. I think you should try it as well. We also have a variety of cooked oysters. So we just got the Asian fusion, which is fried, I guess, and with some accompaniments. I love the naked ones. This one, let's see. We can see the whole, oh my god, see that. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Does it sound like fun? You can do better. Another cup of coffee. Um, so basically, the road's closed and we can't go up there because it snowed last night. And it's so strange. It's summer and it snowed. But anyway, that's Australia for you. Um, and yeah, we are here at Lost Freight Cafe. I got another cup of coffee and we are planning to just thinking what to do next because the road's closed. It might open later in the day, but this, this is how we got to know. There's a website for Mount Wellington. I'll link it down below and you can check the status and everything. And please check that. We didn't know and we ended up here, drove 30 minutes. So waste of time. Thank you. 